Hey guys! So with uh, The Rise of Skywalker coming up, you know, there's a bit of a controversy that I've noticed going around the interwebs. People either think Rise of Skywalker is going to be good, people think Rise of Skywalker is going to recover Star Wars or something. So, in short, they either think it's going to be bad or good and i thought i'd give my honest opinion in short i think rise of skywalker does have a fighting chance now i know that there are going to be a lot of people who disagree with me heck i've got friends from uni who absolutely despise disney star wars altogether for me disney star wars it's hit or miss i like some things and then i don't like other things you know but uh Despite everything going on, I don't mind Disney Star Wars up to now, to an extent. Granted, in my opinion, there are some questionable stuff within the franchise, but there, there's always going to be faults in most things in life. <laughs> Nothing's perfect. Um, I think maybe it's just because I'm a diehard Star Wars fan, and yeah, <laughs> I'm not afraid to admit that. <laughs> But uh, in terms of The Rise of Skywalker, I watched the trailer, like I said in my uh, little update video when I review, uh, revealed that I bought the Star Destroyer Lego, and I think it has a good chance of being good. The trailer had some fantastic shots there, not just that trailer, the other one, the, my two favourite shots is the shot of Kylo Ren with the whole water splashy thing on the Death Star and like the over 200 Death Star scene in the other trailer. Uh, what else do I think gives it a fighting chance? I like J.J. Abrams' work, both Force Awakens and his Star Trek uh, see, uh, movies that he did. And again, you know, people will disagree. You know what? That's fair. I'm not going to argue. <laughs> I like how Force Awakens was executed. You know, it was a callback to fans. And I just enjoyed his Star Trek movies. <laughs> the, th the thing is, when I go into a movie theater, I literally shut off my brain and just watch the movie. At least for the first viewing. But generally, I go into a movie and I just shut off my brain because I want to escape reality. As depressing as that sounds. And I guess just be immersed in a fantasy world. <laughs> but no, um, this is just my opinion. The trailer looks good. J.J. Abrams, I think, is a pretty decent director. And I just have a strong feeling we're going to be surprised in The Rise of Skywalker. Whether it be like revelations, all the characters coming back as Force Ghosts, fingers crossed, Anakin. <laughs> and although I feel J.J. Abrams has a real tough job right now, tying all of the previous films beforehand, I feel he's going to whip up something that will most likely enjoy. And you know what? If it doesn't work out, <laughs> the man tried. <laughs> But, um, yeah, no, um, I feel Rise of Skywalker, in conclusion, will have a really, really good chance at, what's a good word for this, um, satisfying us. While I did say that Disney Star Wars, in my opinion, wasn't too bad, I understand where other fans come from. Yeah, the whole subverting our expectations with Last Jedi. <laughs> There's some stuff I liked about Last Jedi. Like the visuals and the kamikaze scene. <laughs> I didn't mind the flashback scene with Ben and Luke. I thought that was pretty cool because I've never seen a flashback besides say like Rogue One or the Clone Wars before in a Star Wars film. There's probably more, but I probably forgot. But um, you know, People hated the prequels, and now there's time to accept it. Maybe down the track, Disney Star Wars will get that same treatment from the fans. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe we're just not used to this type of Star Wars, but our kids will be. That's if Star Wars is even around till then. But no, in short, guys, again, <laughs> I'm just rambling at this point. I think we should give Rise of Skywalker a chance. And if it fails, it's the last Skywalker film. Even though there are going to be other Star Wars films, it'll be the last Skywalker Saga film. And let's hope other Star Wars films they decide to make will satisfy a lot more fans. But uh, I hope you're keen as I am for Star Wars Episode 9, and I'll see you in the next video. Woo!